Assalamu alaikum. My name is Afsha Malik and I am a part of the Daybreak Press publishing team. And today we're going to talk about how to make your manuscript into a reality. So the first few things you want to keep in mind when you're plotting your next big book project is to make sure that you know where your book will be set, who your characters are, and any type of thematic or instrumental elements that you want to convey in your book. So if you're writing a historical book, you want to make sure your research is on point. If you're writing a mystery novel, then you want to make sure that there is some mystery and intrigue and interesting stuff thrown in. And if you're writing, let's say, a YA young adult novel or a children's book, then your language, your tone, everything is based around the fact that you're going to be conveying your words and your ideas to a specific target audience. So after you get all those things in order, uh, a few of the things that you want to focus on afterwards is to make sure that you have a basic outline of what you want to write about. So a lot of people like to write from the heart and just start freestyling it from the beginning and that's completely respectable. Um, from personal experience, I did not find that helpful. And a lot of people just wind up writing for years and years and years and then 10 years later they're like, I've been working on this book and it's not really going anywhere so what should I do? Um, a lot of it just has to do with the fact that you need to have some kind of foundation, a blueprint, a structure in mind when you're writing so that all of the from your heart writing goes into these boxes or these chapters that you've outlined beforehand. So for this big project, whether it's during the month of NaNoWriMo or it's just during a different time in your life where you wanted to get out a book, um, what we can focus on is to make sure that you have a beginning, a middle, and end and map it out so that you know what falls and what progresses or what falls into the progression of your story. So what I did was I had 10 days that I gave myself to write a manuscript, a whole complete manuscript. And I didn't worry too much about the dialogue or the frills or the details, but I really wanted to make sure that the structure of the novel was in place. So by giving yourself this timeline to write a manuscript, you'll be able to channel all your creative juices into a already set blueprint, an already set foundation. You know where you want your story to lead and a lot of the fun comes after you have a basic framework for your book so that you know where to add your cool dialogue, you know where to add those details that have been kind of playing around in your mind in terms of your characters. You can develop your characters the way you want them to in terms of your story plot. And it gives a really, really great and very solid base for you to complete the manuscript. So what I would suggest for this NaNoWriMo or anytime you're working on your book project is to Definitely plot out those basic instrumental details about your setting, your characters, your plot, your theme, your target audience, and be sure about those. And after you're finished with that, just to outline your book. So you could always play around with the chapters later. You could always delete passages. You could always add chapters. You could always throw in different ideas and different thematic elements. But once you have that basic structure in place and you've filled in the framework or your skeleton of your novel, it becomes a lot easier to fill in all the details and stuff like that. So you can totally write from the heart and I would absolutely suggest it because that's what you know makes for really awesome writing and really awesome reading. But first, let's just focus on making sure that you know where and what <laughs> your story will be about, where it will lead and how it will finish because a lot of times people are just writing for long periods of time and they don't have anything tangible to show at the end except a lot of lot a lot of passages that they're not sure how they would fit into an actual book or an actual story or plot so happy writing i hope this was helpful and definitely follow us for more writing tips and tricks and advice thank you so much again my name is afsha malik and i am a part of the daybreak press publishing team take care assalamu alaikum